Hello viewers, welcome to Civil Learning Online and today in this video I will be discussing about 3 hinged circular arch. Guys, let me tell you one thing that the analysis of 3 hinged circular arch is a bit different from those which I have discussed in the previous video which were about the 3 hinged parabolic arch in which I have shown how to calculate the resultant forces as well as the maximum bending moment horizontal uh, normal stresses and the radial shear and here uh, I hope you are going to enjoy this today's lecture and without any further delay let's begin the solution so guys let's begin the solution by reading out the question and the question is 3 inch symmetric circular arch has a span of 36 meter and a rise of 6 meter and we are asked to determine the bending moment normal thrust and the radial shear of 9 meter from the left support if the arch is subjected to a uniformly distributed load of intensity 30 kN per meter over the left half portion and concentrated load of 60 kN at 27 meter from the left springing. So guys I have read out the question and now let us draw the diagram and uh, we will begin the solution with step 1. First of all let us draw the diagram of this 3 inch circular arch which is given in the question. So guys, as you can see, I have drawn the 3 hinge circular arch whose crown is at 6 meter which is represented by point C and the supports A and B have are uh, carrying the reactions RA and RB respectively and the, at the supports A and B there is horizontal force which is represented by HA and HB and uh, it is carrying the UDL of 30 kN per meter over the ha left half span and at 6, 27 meter from the left support A it is carrying the point load of 60 kN meter 60 kN which is already mentioned in the question now we will move toward the step 1 and in step 1 we will be finding the reactions at support and the first step is uh, all the way similar which we have done uh, while analyzing the 3 hinged parabolic arch and its analysis or the steps which we perform uh, to find the reactions at support will be similar which we have done for analyzing the beam whether it is simply supported or cantilever and in step 1 uh, let's write down step 1 in step 1 let us assume let us assume that the reaction reaction at support a equals to r a and reaction at support B equals to RB so guys now if you apply the condition of a static equilibrium that is summation F Y equals to 0 means the sum of forces in vertical direction equals to 0 we will have upward force minus downward force equals to 0 and upward force are RA and RB so RA plus rb minus downward force and the downward force are 60 kN and this udl which is acting for the span half of the span means half of 36 meter will be 18 meter so 30 into 18 plus 60 equals to 0 sorry this 60 kN is also acting downward so it will be negative and from here we will have RA plus RB equals to these two are upward force and these two are downward force so upward force minus downward force will be equals to 0 because it neutralizes the forces will be equals to 600 kN and this is going to be our equation 1 now 
let us take moment about a then what we will write here taking moment about a that is summation m a will be equals to zero now say see watch this step very carefully guys what we are doing we are taking moment about a and if while taking moment about a if i take uh, this anti clockwise is positive then all the clockwise will be taken as negative so what we will have reaction at b times 36 this is anti clockwise and i am taking this positive so clockwise will be minus 60 this is point load into span gives us moment minus this is 30 kN udl so 30 times 18 this is now this udl is multiplied by span gives us is converted into point load and if we multiply this point load by cg then this will be 18 by 2 it gives us a uh, moment and uh, which will be equals to 0 now on solving this we will get the value of rb equals to 180 kN now after getting the value of rb put this value in equation 1 then we will get the value of ra then we will have now from equation 1 what we will have ra plus 180 will be equals to 600 kilonewton so from here we will have ra equals to 420 kilonewton now we have got the value of ra which is equals to 420 kilonewton upward and value of rb which is 180 kilonewton acting upward and guys as you can see we have horizontal horizontal forces also at the support that is ha and hb so ha plus hb will be equals to zero and how this we came to how we came to conclude this because we have one more condition of static equilibrium that is summation fx equals to zero means some of the forces in horizontal direction equals to zero and from here we came to know that ha will be equals to minus hb means the horizontal forces at support a and b b will be equal in magnitude but in opposite direction so that they can uh, keep the arts in stable condition now let us move toward the step two and from step two we will be calculating this horizontal forces at the support a and b so guys uh, let me tell you one thing before beginning the step two uh, in in arch is what happens moment at the crown is equals to zero let me repeat what i said uh, moment at crown c is equals to moment at crown which may be represented by any point here i have represented by c uh, so if i take moment about c either on H rhs or on lhs it will be equals to zero so uh, what we need to do is uh, let us write down step two here step two taking moment about c on rhs so guys what I, I have written here i am taking moment about c on rhs means on this side so on doing so what we will have here uh, we have rb equals to 180 kN and i am taking moment about c on rhs and if i take this anti clockwise as a positive then this 60 kN will be taken as negative and this horizontal force is also taking clockwise direction so it will again be horizontal force at b is also taking clockwise direction which will be negative so how what we can write here 18 times 180 kN how so because this 180 kN is at distance 18 meter from this point c if point c is here and 
if I take force times perpendicular distance this is force and perpendicular distance is 18 meter so 180 minus horizontal reaction at B times 6 minus 60 point load times span because uh, the 6 kN because we need to take this much span and this span is going to be 9 meter so 60 times 9 will be equals to 0 and on solving this we will get the value of horizontal reaction HB equals to 450 kilonewton and guys here I have mentioned that if HB is uh, uh, HA is negative of HB so we will have horizontal reaction at A that is HA will be equals to minus 450 kilonewton now guys from step 3 uh, the solution of circular uh, uh, three in circular uh, arts is different because we will be using different formula for finding the radius so let us see how to find the radius of three hinged uh, circular arts so here is step 3 and we have the formula for finding the radius that is 2 times r minus h here h is the height of crown times h equals to l square divided by 4 and l is the span of the circular arts and here we are provided with the value of l equals to 36 meter and the height of crown is already given which is equals to 6 so now put down the value of the known quantities that is we don't know the value of r we will be calculating here the value of r and we know the value of h that is 6 meter equals to 36 square divided by 4 and on solving this we will get the value of r which will be equals to 30 meter guys now guys after getting the value of r let us use the equation of the circular arts so we have equation we have y equals to root under r square minus x square minus r plus h i hope guys you are noticing the differences here while while solving the parabolic arts we have the formula y equals to 4 hx by l square times l minus x but here we have the formula in case of circular arts that is y equals to root under r square minus x square whole minus r minus h so now put down the value because we have calculated all the values we have value of r equals to 30 square minus x and the x is the horizontal distance uh, at which we are asked to find the moment and uh, in the question we are asked to find the mom, uh, mo moment normal thrust and radial shear at 9 meter from the left support so we will have the value of x equals to 9 9 square minus 30 plus height of crown is 6 meter so from here we will get the value of y which will be equals to 4.618 approximately equals to 4.62 meter now let us calculate the moment which we are asked in the question so from here i will be finding the moment because we are asked to find the moment at 9 meter from the left support so we need to find the moment at point d so moment at d equals to 1 and guys if i take a uh, moment at d on lhs then what we will have here ra is taking a uh, clockwise direction and if i take clockwise as positive then this udl will be anti-clockwise which will be negative and uh, ha is also anti-clockwise so it will again be negative so we will have the equation 420 this is the value of ra times span is 9 meter force times perpendicular distance minus and the 30 kN per meter which is acting over 9 meter span udl times span is converted into concentrated load now multiply this by cg so it will be moment now 450 this is our HA and uh, times 4.62 
it will gives us the value of moment at d which will be equals to 486 kilonewton meter now we need to move toward the second question and where we are asked to find the radial shear radial shear equals to what and normal thrust equals to what for that we will need to find the value of theta at x equals to 9 meter so uh, at x equals to 9 meter what we will have tan theta equals to dy by dx and we have the we have y equals to root under r square minus x square minus h minus r plus h so on finding the derivative of this equation we will have positive x upon y and if we put the value of x and y we have 9 by we have calculated the value of uh, y which is 9 4.62 and on solving this we will get 9 1.95 now after this let us find the inverse so theta will be equals to tan inverse 1.95 and we will get the final value of theta equals to 1 sorry 62.85 degree so guys we needed we needed to calculate the value of theta because we will be needing the value of theta as we have the formula for finding the uh, normal shear as uh, norm, normal thrust we have normal thrust thrust n equals to we have normal thrust n equals to uh, h cos theta plus v sin theta so we will be needing the value of theta that's why we have calculated the value of theta now put the value of h which is 450 cos 62.85 degree plus v is 150 times sin 62.85 degree and from here we will get the value of n which will be equal to 338.81 kilonewton now time to calculate the radial shear and we have again radial shear radial shear which is denoted by f will be equal to minus v cos theta plus h sin theta now put the value we have minus 150 cos 62.85 degree plus 450 sin 62.85 degree on solving this we will get the value of radial shear f equals to 331.96 kilonewton this is our final answer so guys i hope you find this video very helpful and if you want more videos related to civil engineering in the future then do subscribe this channel and do share this video as much as you can and for more videos in the future uh, do like this video and uh, do share this video and see you in the next video till then take care and have a nice day